AJ, did you watch any of the basketball this weekend? Yeah, I watched a decent amount. Yeah, pretty how about, good. How about DJ BJ, dude? I mean, yeah. Oh, like, okay. What is it? How big is he again? I don't know. It looks like 6'7". 6'9", 275. 6'9"? He's over he, three yeah. bills, though. Great feet, great <laughs> six, ball nine. handling, man. So fun to watch. I saw a photo of him whenever he was a freshman at Tennessee, I believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, he looked obviously a little bit thinner, a little bit younger. But now the hair, the look, the attitude, the smile, and the, yep. this one. Yep. He's got great touch. Great oh, touch yeah. around the rim. Great ball sure. in. Great feet as well. I mean, he's, he's a mega star. star. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. mega star. Not even, he's like star of the program right now. Oh, yeah. DJ BJ. Yeah. His walkout all the way through the end of the game, even when they were subbing him out on defensive side so he wouldn't pick up fouls, he's flexing to the cameras and then he's standing and he's coming back in and he's getting and ones immediately upon touching the ball. So even when he's getting subbed, it's electrifying. Everything this dude does is awesome. And I, th- you go back to the ACC tournament. Okay. You go back to the ACC tournament. There was a banked three off a missed free throw that got NC State into overtime in the semifinals of the ACC. If they don't, if this missed free throw, boom, 58 55. Obviously, that falls game over. Mm-hmm. Instead, drive court, timeout, mm-hmm. bank home three, rattle home. Bank rattle. Okay, how often does that happen from how far that guy was? Not often. They would obviously go on to win this game. Then they would win the ACC championship. Then their run would just not stop all the way to the Final Four thus far. And us learning that DJ BJ is the most electrifying basketball player on planet Earth right now. I love this NC State Wolfpack story. And I love the thought that NFL people are like, now hold hold the phone a little bit. Yeah, We don't know what they're saying about DJ BJ and the NBA, but... 6'9", over 300 pounds. Good feet. Good feet. Mm -hmm. Left hand strong. Yeah, Yeah. strong. Left hand strong. There is one position. And I had an offensive line coach, Rick Trickett, in college. Notorious. uh, Great name. Great name, by the way. Yeah. Just Ricky Trick. He's about this tall. I think he was. Was he related to Clint? I think he was in the Vietnam War, I think. Okay. He, like. Believable. Hat off, we're mother everything. Yeah, yeah. It was. But we had a, a tight end named Selvish Capers, who was a kid from Louisiana, huge dude. Huge dude. 6'6", 6'5", 315. He was a tight end, though. Great athlete. Damn. Could move. Was awesome. As soon as he got to campus. So Trickett, in one of these team meetings, goes up on a board, and he circles the left tackle position in front of the whole team. Circles left tackle position, and he goes, this position is on the field every mother in play. This position on the field gets paid a lot of money. So if you're a six foot five, six foot six tight end who can move and is strong, you need to move your mother ass to tackle right here. And Selvish moved, ended up in the NFL. Mm. Like that was an entire yeah. coming of age tale. But I think a lot of football people think that. Like, hey, if you're oh, yeah. big and can move, there's not a lot of people like you in the world. If you have a dog mentality, which it appears DJ BJ has, that tackle position is certainly at 6'9". Now, that's big. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many 6'9 Huge. tackles there are. That kind of scares me a little bit, actually, with how low guys can get right now. But DJ BJ's feet and his agility, his athleticism, he's right to make $25, $30 million a year left tackle yes. in the NFL if he can figure it out. Now, we assume he can. And I don't know why people are just assuming he's not going to be in the NBA because that little left-handed baby hook won't work. Is that what they're saying? Uh, I assume they're just saying because of the up and down. There's a lot of him... Hey, you got you guys go up there. I'll be up there in a little. Oh. There's a lot of that. I think you know, that is cardio, you figure that out. Different game too. Just like Edie, a lot of people aren't seeing, aren't saying, oh, he's going to be an NBA guy just because how different the game is. But I, he definitely play overseas and make good money for oh, yeah. long. With his style of game, he could play for another forty years. Playing, he doesn't, you know, doesn't do a bunch of jumping. Super skill, great touch. I love him. How do you high. feel about it, AJ? You think he? I feel like he should spend like. I mean, have some coach spend two hours with him and just see, like, a, little, a couple pass sets and mm-hmm. everything. Oh, it would just, like, can he anchor? Which I would imagine that dude's got a big lower body. Like, I, he could anchor. He could do everything. He can bend. You and the best out. thing, he has, he has great feet, though. That's the number one thing. You're checking out his ass. I was just saying he got big ass. I'm just saying he's, he can anchor. It, it, the, the, the tackles that can sit there and anchor on a dude bull rushing him, that, the, I think those guys set apart from everybody else. Yeah, that's what AJ said. Yeah. That's a big part of uh, scouting. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, numerous people have gone on the record, even for the kicker and punter position. Like, really hey, really? Yeah. how's the ass? Big? Got it. Love it. Got yep. some power. Mm-hmm. Got some explosivity probably a little bit. Got a good uh, center of gravity mm-hmm. in this entire yep. thing. He seems to have great base. Go well, ahead, I saw there a lot of them were just saying, like, 
Sorry, excuse me. He could be Jordan Mailata, who's six eight, like three seventy, who played rugby, I believe, until he came over to the Eagles, and now is one of the best tackles in the NFL. And can sing. I, I yeah, think DJ can probably oh, sing pretty. Oh, good. Oh, I would have yeah. seen <laughs> He plays <laughs> instruments. Then you see, he's like the most interesting man in the world. He said he played upright bass. He's played a million different instruments. He's a big reader. All that stuff. <laughs> 